do not realize that Taco Bell was the only restaurant to survive the franchise wars. So? So? Now all restaurants are Taco Bell. No way. Hey guys, we're back here for another video. It's a little bit of chatting and driving. Gonna test out this longer car here. Freight car. You can see it's about double the length of the chassis system. As a matter of fact, I think it is double the length. But then it is almost. So let's see how it goes. Should be okay, because it's the 24 inch radius curves. Alright, we got her on there. Let's see. Turn on, sounds that uh on your right. It's the locomotive. investigate see what the problem is gap developed over here. I'm gonna have to probably glue this down so it doesn't move. Let's try it again. Definitely not trying to go backwards or reverse. See what happens this time. That cup is look pretty even. It is not trying to cooperate. Might be one of those cars, I'm just gonna use it at the club because it is kind of long. Why is it I have to glue this back on? Let me put this up here so I don't lose it. Same problem I had with the caboose. It was a little higher. This piece here. I know it's dark. I don't have my light. This piece here is hitting the track. That's where the problem is coming from. But other than that, it should work all right. 
So I had that same problem with the caboose. And I cut that. So I wasn't really worried about. other functionality so let's get this guy out of the way let's get the French guy on here it should be all right. TGV. I always loved this train. This time I saw it. I fell in or something where I could uh, see how fast it's running. Let's get all reliable on here. might be faster. Hard to tell. Let's put him back down. Let's get this guy on there. This one is definitely not the fastest one. So it's between the, Steve, the engine that Steve built and the TGV. stopwatch thing. In fact, that's what I'll do. Let's do the stopwatch. See who is the fastest. Alright, let's uh, 
gonna hit it once it gets hit, once it comes back around. Five seconds and 5.24 seconds. So let's get the French up here. So, chassis system. The engine that Steve built is the winner. So shout out, Steve. Let's put him back on here. for trucks or something. Let's try it on. I'm gonna try it with just the engine. Let's get uh, Dom up here. This is the first car that Dom drove in the movie Fast and Furious. Those two. It was crashing a lot the other day. I want to test it out with just the locomotive. It might be the car that it was connected to. Thursday because that is the nation's birthday. I don't want to stand on here. For him to be the best guy in the, in the damn movie, he doesn't seem to be acting right. Let's get Brian on here. Brian's on a, well he's on an extract and Brian's on a SRT so he's going to be better. I need to get one for that one. Either a Super 7 with a low rider or Bulldog. Near miss. Alright, so it seems to run okay when it's connected to the Locomotive. Let's add one of these guys. And see how he forms. I'll connect it to another car. Where the 
put the caboose. Gotta have the caboose on here. Right, right here looking at me, I don't see it. <laughs> Over here, that's why I don't see it. Out of sight. Get the caboose on here. I know they don't use cabooses anymore, but I like the way they look. This is my world. Yeah, well, he holds up. Back to the topic. I don't know what I'm going to do Thursday, but it is a holiday. Happy birthday, America. And I might not be up this way. Shall see. Again, I can't recruit from Facebook because my account is locked and there's no way to get in contact with that guy for taking company. Totally by word of mouth. It's all right. What's that? Got it going. I wish I had a uh, one of those Tycho's Spirit of 1776 locomotives. I love that engine. That Never got one. I wish someone would, would uh, remake it. Thursday, up in the air, or 
guess I could set a track up there up in the home. I do have uh, BRE with me. Chessie system box car for sale. Let me know. Let's get a uh, star skin hutch up here. You know, uh, David Soul just recently passed away. RIP to David Soul. He's a singer and an actor. Another one that's on an extraction. That was on a 1776. Locomotive for, uh, especially for the holidays, man. For the, the fourth. I've seen some on eBay, but they didn't look too good. And they wanted too much money for them. If it was uh, at least near mint condition, I would put the money out for it. It looked like the cat got to it and your two-year-old threw up on it. Will not be purchased by me. I can destroy my own stuff. I want to buy something that's destroyed. I want to destroy it. This guy runs pretty good to be an extraction. Holding up pretty well. As soon as I said that, every time I say the car runs good, I crash. It took them long enough to get the license in for this, or if they had to get it, which I don't know. I don't know if you can own a paint job because of trademark. Now how long it lasts, I assume the trademark ran out on it, or a patent. have the other way around. This uh, swoosh, I guess you would call it, was here. It was the exact opposite. So I never bought it until they made it look more like the actual car on, this, on the TV show. I am a movie car man. And I play movies too. Oh. Well, I almost forgot. I think it's noisy. Since I changed the radius of the inner loop. On the way to driving with fit, I would have to place it like right here. Originally, let me set this camera up. I wanted it, the concession stand to be back here somewhere. But since the loop is a little wider, now the railroad is going right over the building. I don't like the look. I would have much more space for some cars, you know, roll cars and stuff like that. 
Another spot I was thinking of. Let's fix this. Just putting it over here. I guess we'd be okay, but I kind of wanted to put uh, like a bikini car wash there. I wanted to put like in this area, a couple of restaurants, stuff, bikini car wash, a house of ill repute. Something like that. Or, you say once I expand the table, we're going to try to do that this week. Let's put the drive in back here. Uh, there's plenty of room back here for that. There will be, because once I add another 15 inch straight, there'll be enough room for that. Most likely, that will be the move to make. What I don't like about this, it's pretty much made for an iPad. The Android, or at least mine, which is a 7-inch screen, it doesn't fit because it's a little bit too long to fit in there. The iPad is a little wider, so the aspect ratio is a little different between both devices. So since this is not adjustable, I would have to get one of those. Like a good used one is like a hundred bucks. I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to spend a hundred bucks on something. Something I'm not going to really use that much. So that's where I am with that. Let's head back to the cars. Let's get the Duke boys up here. Before you newbies. This is an extraction. This is a uh, Johnny Lightning. See, it doesn't have the third magnet in the back. What I did, I just put upgraded magnets in. A little bit stronger than stock. I think it makes the car much better. You get the dude boys up here. But they can no longer make this car because the activists got offended after uh, 30 years or so. Uh, I guess. Oh, that's my alarm. We'll see you guys this Thursday. What's up? You said, if I go live, it'll be. I have a much smaller layout. Or I might be up this way. It depends if someone has a little cookout or something, I might come back up here. Anyways, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Share this bad boy out. And see you guys in the next video. He almost got me that time.